Alright guys, how's it going? So during the week, I had a really pretty complex scene. It was pretty much objects inside of objects inside of objects. And I had things like drivers controlling certain channels, I had bones that had to be rigged in a certain manner. And just navigating the scene became kind of complex at some point. And I thought, well, let's use another solution. Let's use empty images to control some of these objects, make life just that little bit easier. So it pretty much worked something very similar to this. A uh, bit more complex, obviously, but basic fundamentals were the same. And all it is, is using an empty image to drive the channels. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly start a new scene. So I'll go to File, New, General. Perfect. Now, there's several ways we can actually add in an empty image. But the best way to do it is go to Add, Empty, down the bottom here, Image. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move it out so I can see what we're doing. I'm going to come to these kind of green axis icon here. And you can see down the bottom that we have image open. And I'm going to open something on the desktop, which is essentially this. Now, there's several ways we can parent or we can do an object constraint. But I'm just going to quickly select the cube. I'll press shift, select the empty, and I'll press control and P. And I'll parent this. And I'll keep the object transform the same. Now what I can do here is I can select empty, I'll open up the transform options and I'll lock some of these channels. I only need essentially the Y channel, so I don't need Z and I don't need X. And this means when I move this left to right, I have something a little bit more easier to control than selecting the cube and then selecting transform. Now like I mentioned, there is other ways to add in images to your UI. So what I can do here is I can actually move Blender to left, I'll press 7 on the numpad to go to front orthographic and I can actually drag these on and wherever I drag it on I'll actually place it down in the UI. Now the scale kind of gets thrown out and this is technically the full size of the image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. The next thing I'm going to do is select the cube, I'm going to come to the object constraints and I'm going to add in a damp track. And what I can do here is I can select the empty using the dropper. I'll select the Y axis. And this means when I move this up and down, it rotates the object. Now, same again. What I can do is I can actually lock down the channels. I only essentially need the X channel. So I'll lock these down. And this is pretty much how you can use empties and images to kind of drive animation and make your UI just a little bit cleaner at times. And a little bit easier to use. And it did come in handy, it did save several minutes when we were animating. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you nothing, just hit that button, you know what to do. Take care.